open to our tent and we'd love to invite you for a private tasting if you want to come in. Oh, okay. You done? All right, try this way. Hi everyone, my name's Stephanie Fleck. I'm the owner of Party Girl Events and I plan over the top marriage proposals. Hey Kurt, how are you? I love it. I started my event planning business after being a manager with Ritz Carlton for a long time. I'm good at the personalized service, it's like what I specialize in and that's exactly what marriage proposal planning is. So I was hiking here in Lion's Head and I'm really excited about the proposal that we have for Levon and Kat. I have three ideas that I think are going to be perfect for this proposal. One is the wedding deck, which we're going to now. Second is an art gallery because she loves art. And then the third option, I already got the okay from the company that's running the event that we can do a proposal tent among the other tents at the wine festival. The wedding deck's a slide, let's go. So it definitely says the venue is closed. But I had some conversations about potentially using the wedding deck for other events and basically they're not policing it. Let's go. We could totally move these. <laughs> so this spot looks really beautiful and I'm going to take a picture and ask Levon what he thinks about it tomorrow. This is the location, it's beautiful. I think Levon's gonna love it. And so let's go check out the plan B. Second idea was to have a custom art piece made by a local artist and have it in an art gallery. So there's this art gallery that I want to go to first because my idea is to have a local artist paint a backdrop of the couple. I just talked to the art gallery. They didn't say no, but they said I need to call the owner, Ross. They gave me his card. I look forward to chatting with him tomorrow. This happens all the time. Hopefully he says yes. Third proposal option is my favorite. Um, they're coming for the wine festival. She is taking her sommelier exam on Sunday, so it's a really thoughtful idea. And I already talked to the company that is putting on this event, and they said we could put up a proposal tent. So imagine if you were walking around the wine festival to all the tents, and then you stumbled upon your proposal. Can you imagine how surprised she's going to be? I cannot wait to see what happens. Next on the list was florals. And my go-to florist for proposals is Sweet Pea. And they always are down to help me with proposals last minute. So Levon told me Kat wanted colorful flowers. That's what she likes, lots of different colors. And so we went to Sweet Pea and picked out all the flowers we wanted for the arrangements. And then I trusted them to make them really beautiful. Kat's proposal, we were doing personalized champagne flutes. I'm thinking they might want to keep these flutes forever and maybe use them for their wedding. So once we get the champagne flutes, we're gonna go to Frisco and I found somebody they can etch their wedding date, which they already have, on the glass. Okay, so looks like we found what we needed at Annie's, so we're not gonna go to Gorsuch today. We're just gonna go right to Frisco and get these up. We're in the lovely town of Frisco and we are going to get our glasses etched. 
Levon and Kat already have their wedding date, even though they're not engaged yet. And it's four, three, two, one. So that's what we're putting on the glasses. So Thursday, I knew the tents were going to be delivered and I was wanting to see exactly where our tent was going to be set up so that I could tell Levon. And when I got there, look at the setup, the tent was not what I was expecting. It was really ugly. This is what I wanted, okay? This is the pastels and this is what I got! And I was like, oh, what am I going to do? So then I went to event rent and they totally hooked it up. They gave us like poles for the draping that were the right size because the ones that came initially were like two feet too tall. And then they gave us um, tent liners that we could put inside the tent to make it look really beautiful. It took us probably five hours to figure out how to hang it because like, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't do that as a planner, but my assistant Ann and I figured it out and I'm really happy with the way that it turned out. So I'll see it and I'll... He's going to show up as a participant. Okay. And, and then I have to... There's an admit button. You're going to click admit. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> I'm sure I'm not helping you feel less nervous. Oh, he's here. I admit. And then... I don't see how I... Oh, yeah, I do. Can you hear me? Mm, try one more time. How about now? Excellent. Awesome. Hi. How are you? I'm doing really well on a Sunday. Thank you very much. How about you? I'm doing good. Is, is Kat good. taking her um, sommelier exam? She is, yes. So she is... Uh... Levon was awesome to work with. He called and he told me about how much he loves Kat and how she was getting her sommelier certification and how they were coming to Vail for the wine festival. Every time I get a call from a lead, I know that these guys that are calling, they're romantic, smart, and thoughtful. And I try to then come up with ideas to tie those things into a really personal, special, over-the-top proposal for them. Levon wanted the art piece to be added to the proposal spot, which was an awesome idea. And he wanted the artist to really use her creativity and to kind of show what something that was wildly fulfilling, because that's their hashtag that they have. But he didn't give any more direction than that. So what the artist Natalie Pritchett did is she went on to Kat's Instagram and she looked at the hashtag wildly fulfilling and saw all the pictures of them and she got inspiration from the hashtag and she created a really beautiful piece. Meanwhile, as um, the proposal was happening, my girl Shanna was in their room doing the rose petal turndown and so she got most of the rose petal turndown done during the proposal. We let them enjoy their champagne, and then at 1.30 they had to leave the venue anyway. So Tony took them to the Alpine Gardens, and she did a photo shoot with them. While she was doing that, Anne and I, we grabbed the champagne flutes, all the pictures in there, and we did all of that before the couple got back to the room. She had no idea. She was so surprised and she actually thought we were setting up a photo booth in there. So when they, when he proposed, everybody saw them and they were all clapping and it was like, it was really cute and she loved it. Right, yay! Congratulations! Thank you so much! This is for you. <laughs> yay! Wine 
festival was taking place at Ford Park in Vail, and because the company let us do the proposal there, that was a pretty hard thing to pass up. It was perfect. And then at one o'clock, we opened the walls of the tent, we rolled out the aisle runner, I grabbed the champagne and I went up to the couple and I was like, we just opened our tent, we're doing a VIP tasting, do you want to come check it out? And then they went in and, and then it happened.